Praise God. Praise God. Man, I'm kind of tired, but I got to get it out, man. God be the glory. Been a long time coming. It's been a long, long time coming. But listen up. I'm going to offend somebody, right? But I don't mean to. We just going to take the gloves off and we're going to talk for a minute. You know, because some of y'all stupid, right? Just straight stupid. And I'm talking about old people kind of stupid. I'm talking about intoxicated kind of stupid. But no disrespect to you. I mean, it can happen to any of us, you know, depending on what you have faith in or who you have faith in. So I want to ask y'all a few questions. And I'm not talking about the international. I'm not talking about cross country. I'm not talking about the other states, the cities. I'm talking about right here where I was born and raised in. And some of y'all figure y'all know stag. <clears throat> but I want to ask you, how do you know me? See, how do you know me? From who? From where? From what? From what you heard from me? Or what you saw me do with your own eyes. What you know. See, we're going to break down a few things. You know. First of all, let me make some clarity. Which I should have did years ago. When I first heard this about 10 years ago. I never had a heart attack. Right. I never had a stroke. I was never on a walker. In a wheelchair. I was never hospitalized in a nursing home. No. Never was. Never was. Who told you that? See, that's the first thing. Who told you that? And if it never happened, why would somebody tell you something that outrageous? Hmm. I want you to think about that first. That's the first thing. What would be the reason for them to tell you that? Right? All these different people where I was raised at these different women and girls and stuff that they told you that I kicked it with. It never happened. All these people that they said that I was in a relationship. Did you ever see me with the, these any of these women? Huh? Did you see me with any of them? All these different kids and grandbabies and everything that they say in this mind. I don't have any grandbaby. I have one grandchild. My daughter lives out of state. And I have one granddaughter. The other ones that I speculate, we have a way of communicating. That's between me and them on that. But for us, this other stuff, how y'all sitting at the table and doing these kumbayas and Dr. Martin Luther King speeches about these, my babies and grandbabies, it's not true. See, you can't tell me who I had sex with. Now, this is not for, you know, you know my nephews and nieces, because, I mean, you're only going by what's been told to you. But did you ever hear me say it out of my mouth, that this is my grandson, this is my granddaughter, this is my daughter? Did you ever hear me say it? I heard you say that this is my son, this is my, I heard you, but did you ever hear me say it? So, who told you that? Hmm? Who told you that? And if they told you that, why did they tell you that? See? Listen, I'm going to tell y'all something, man. It's a lot of y'all got an imprint in your mind of who I am, about what's been told for you over the years. See, just like I was about a lot of you guys, you know, for over the years. And came back 10 or 15 years later and I brought it to, oh, I ain't said that. I ain't something else, I ain't said that. Man, I hated some of y'all for years because of what was told to me. You know, why would somebody sit at the table and tell the outrageous lie? That's why it's easy to believe. Because it's hate, man. It's a lot of things that you guys think, man, it's, been, it's not true. Listen, the whole purpose of people lying to you and say the things that they do is to, to, to send you straight off in your life. I'm going to say this real simple. You understand. When you do the right thing, good things happen. When you do the wrong thing, bad things happen. Remember what I'm telling you. So regardless of whoever says in the world or whatever, I'm telling you off the top. When things grow good for you, it's because you're doing the right things, man. Okay, when people sit you at the table and deliberately tell you about all this other stuff about other people that you haven't seen, you haven't heard from anybody else but the person who was telling you that, they have a reason for it. Some of you guys who they didn't threaten y'all and some of you women talking about, I'm finna come over here and do this to you years ago about this, that, he gonna come over here shooting and he gonna do this here because they didn't want to pay you your money. That's a lie. I don't know anything about any of that. I have nothing to do with that. Okay. All this other stuff that has something to do with people fighting in these different relationships and, and talking about Stag said this and Stag, Stag ain't said nothing. Stag don't even know anything about it. A lot of times my life was in danger because y'all was believing what people were told y'all that Stag said. I'm riding over there like a chicken with his head cut off Stag and say I ain't got nothing to do with none of that, man. A lot of this is a lie, man. 
You know, it's sad that I had to say this here, man. But it's, it's time up for a lot of this. You know, it's time up because, listen, over the years, my name been used. I've been misused just like y'all. See, and they think that that's the way to live. People try to capitalize in their own pain instead of struggling. In my struggle and my addiction, man, I had to go do what I had to do to try to make it. I, listen, when y'all didn't see me, where was I at? That's what I'm trying to understand. If When y'all see me come through, the, you remember me, right? 95, 96, 96, y'all remember me, right? What happened? I wasn't welcomed in, right? See, I was turned away, right? For you who were here. The ones that was in the joint, what you do? You listen to what somebody telling you? Why not you ask somebody? Hey, will not y'all think back, man? <laughs> some of you guys down there on Arkansas and Polk and on Pulaski, whatever, you remember? Because some of y'all was just like me. Same thing happened to me that happened to you. Think back, man. Why don't you think? The time that you did see me when I passed through, why I didn't stay? Hmm? How come everybody else stayed and I didn't? Did it ever cross your mind, man, that I wasn't welcome? Did you understand that there was a pain that I was in wherever I went? You didn't see me for a period of time, right? Do you know the storm that I was in? You know? In the cold? You know? In some shattered places? When the only one walking with me was God. You don't know about that. See, everybody got a story to tell 2, 3 in the morning. Somewhere way out and somewhere ain't got nowhere to go. Sitting in somebody's hallway and listening to the Jeffersons or the Good Times play. You know, you're trying to just stay warm. Yeah, I had to say all this here, man, but it's a testimony. Because it's the truth. It was many days like that. What you think will make a person turn and go the other way and do the right thing? It's the pain, man. When you count it out, man, you will find your way. People say you should, should forgive. Yeah, I've been forgave. That's easy. Forgiving ain't no problem. But forgetting is the problem. And what makes you not forget is when the same people try to keep doing the same thing over and over to you years later. And they trying to use other people. They puppet masters. Because they ain't going to do nothing. They ain't nothing but a bunch of cowards. They're going to try to manipulate and use other people to strike out at you for whatever personal reason because of whatever they're going through. They figure by you shining or you looking good or you doing the right thing, it makes them look bad. Instead of them just attaching on to what's doing what's right. But they don't know how to. They don't know that way. So they're trying to manipulate other people to do something to you, which is killing two birds with one stone. Some of y'all find out later in age that how y'all done got y'all money tied up and stuff, lending people money, talking about how this and that and other. You didn't get your money back. People won't even answer the phone with it, man. Huh? They won't with it, man. Some of y'all, listen, some of y'all so stupid, man, that a person can tell you that I beat them out of a car. And you ain't even looking at it. Look, look, at, look at reality of it, man. And I'm not, listen, once again, no, this is no disrespect, but I am trying to offend you, right? I'm trying to offend you, but it's not disrespect to you because they got all of us, right? See, how can I be gone for seven and a half years? You got two legs. Neither one of them got a car. Right? See? One older lady giving her man to her lover. And the other lady is giving her money to her man. Seven and a half years. You don't got no car. I come home in two weeks. And they bless me. You know, I went to the dog trainer. You know, and got me a little pug. Right? Wouldn't lie, but I got me a little pug, right? Man, I appreciated that, right? And then when I had the little pug, I was under martial law. Appreciate it. And how can I forget the infamous, the Sugar Ray? What was that, Harlem Lights? What was that, Ray Ray? So with that, being said, you know, all the way around the board, wasn't much, but it, it's real. I wouldn't purchase a car. Right? It wasn't a lot, but it was decent. I said, why would you do that? Because I couldn't put it in my name. Let's come on. I couldn't do a lot of things. Just came on, been gone for a while. See? So one of the ladies I put in her name. We had an understanding. It wasn't no problem between me. She knew I told her why. She knew why I was cool, whatever. You know? But you know something told me, man, and I never have experienced any kind of negative things, man. That's why I always tell you, man, whatever I'm telling you now, if you ain't experiencing, man, I'm going to name this video called Yet.
Because I used to hear people tell stories of him, but I never experienced it until this time here. But you know, I'm just laying down one day and something just told me, man, to go get that title squished over. See? Because this important person to me in my life knows in the last days, right? And we talked, you know, I went to the hospital, we talked and stuff. We didn't talk about that. That was just a formality. You know? But the other person, did nobody else know about it but me and her. Do you know, two weeks after she passed away, somebody called me and told me to bring that condo, that damn car so and so. I said, that's your car? What you talking about? There's your car so and so. This person spread and told everybody that I beat this lady out of her car and so and so and so and so and so and so. Do you know, man, that the title was processed through the Secretary of the State, man, and I'm still listening. I couldn't even believe it. We didn't tell, I didn't even tell her to go on and on and on because she didn't know. See? Obviously, she had to see the title in her name. See? I don't, I never understood that. Why couldn't you use that same energy on the person you was giving your money to? Because he wasn't slick as me. See, I mean, you trying to play me. You just been trying to play him. See? He trying to tell you how to come get a car. He had to because you ain't smart enough to do nothing like that. But what I'm saying to you, man, when I sit back, you know, and my ex-wife is the witness because she said she heard it all. But I hadn't even told her because it would look like I told you. It was just a formality. It wasn't even important. It was just a formality. When I was just, when I went to visit the hospital, I just had her to take care of that sign and I just threw it to the side, right? And then sent it in or whatever. We, I ain't talking about, I ain't talking about until they try to pull that stunt. And she sat there and heard it all. And then I almost teared up too, man. Because I didn't believe because of who it was coming from. But the thing is, it's not about that. It's about y'all. It's about you, you, you. To this day, to this day, we never talk about it because it's like the elephant in the room. You, It's engraved in your mind because it's happened because of what somebody said. She lying. She lying. Yeah, she lying, man. I just told you. How is it, it's, how is it even possible that a person be gone all that time and come home and get a car in a week and they was there all that time while I was gone? How come you didn't purchase a car before I came home? How did you buy a car? Simple. Do you know people look at me crazy now to this day? Oh, yeah, I got a lot of truth to tell, man. But you know what? I ain't going to break no rules. I ain't going to give no names and I ain't going to cross no lines. Don't worry. I know y'all worry about me saying some of that really, really stuff, right? I'm not going to hit you that. I'm not going to hit you like that. I'm going to hit you like this. You dig? I'm going to hit you like this. See? Because how y'all doing all these different things that cause people to get hurt and y'all be nowhere around. A lot of these, a lot of the very people who I'm talking about, who I love, you know, you don't even know, man, that your seed is planted by death and it's trying to kill you deliberately. And that's what you don't understand. You don't even understand that everything bad that happened to you is the singles back to one person, one source, each one of us. You don't know that either. It was manufactured. You don't know that either. Everything that was directed to this person or whatever, whatever, it was because of whatever personal happened to that one person. And each one of y'all was set up one by one. And, and the same person be sitting at the table with you right now. And the other one's gone. And you don't even know that one person did it on purpose, created it, manufactured it, orchestrated it, the whole thing. That's how deep and deep as it is. And you're getting on the chop block too. Yeah. That's right. And the thing I tell you, man, I keep trying to tell you, you do the right thing, good things gonna happen. See, so wherever I be, so far away, wherever, don't wonder about me. Because wherever I'm at, man, I'm doing the right thing. It, it, don't, it don't change. It, it, look, if you don't have no evidence of what anybody's saying to you about stag, if you didn't hear me say it, you didn't see me, and when you do see me, what do you see? There's no reason for you to hate me and be mad. I ain't did nothing to you. If you have anything against me according to what somebody told you or what somebody said, that should tell you something right there. Just by what I'm saying. If I'm saying this, I can say a whole lot more. See? Ask yourself.
I just asked you. So you ask yourself. You know me, right? Why wasn't I around that end? I was out. Where was I at? You don't know? Hmm? Why don't they tell you? Why don't they tell you why I was at then? Because I was out, right? Where was I at? What was going on with me? Why didn't nobody go try to find me and try to see if I was all right? Ask me that. Ask, ask them. Ask them why they tell you I had a heart attack or a stroke or all this other stuff and it wasn't true. Why they tell you that? Ask, why would somebody fix their mouth to say that? Would you do that? For a person to do that, don't they tell you something, man? Oh, yeah, man. Hey, yo. Check the verse. Good love 